Hello everybody, this is Dr. Derek Strachan here at Divine Spine Chiropractic. We're located in the old Ballard Firehouse in sunny downtown Ballard. Welcome to this week's health tip. So this week we're going to talk about vitamin C and stroke. So from the Tech Times back in February, they are going to be releasing some preliminary research that they've done at this month's American Academy of Neurology. And so what they're realizing, what they're noticing is there's a correlation between deficiency in vitamin C and ischemic or sorry, not ischemic, but hemorrhagic stroke. So that's be strokes that are caused by, bleed, by bleeding. And 15% of all strokes are resulted by hem hemorrhagic stroke. So they're considered to be more dangerous. So these researchers are finding that deficiency in vitamin C is causing, um, is causing a higher risk in stroke. And so uh, vitamin C is also important in, in helping uh, maintain blood pressure as well as in, in helping maintain healthy blood vessels. So the researcher by the name of Dr. Ken Uchino, he's a uh, stroke specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, is saying that there needs to be more research to really verify if this is true or not, but he says there seems to be a correlation of deficiency in vitamin C and, and uh, hemorrhagic stroke. So what he's really pointing out, and which I totally agree with, is that people who are low in vitamin C tend to be living less healthier lifestyles. Where can you get vitamin C? Well, obviously from oranges, Papaya is a good source. Peppers are also a good source. So vitamin C can be found in many different foods, but the bottom line is, is that if you have healthy foods in your diet, more whole foods versus processed foods or canned foods, you're less likely to have a deficiency in vitamin C. And, and let's be honest, we're not just talking about a deficiency in vitamin C. It can be deficiency in many different vitamins, which can lead to many different illnesses or diseases. So that's what we promote, is we want to promote healthy lifestyle from within. We focus on eating habits, moving habits, and thinking habits. And if you do well in those three areas, your nervous system is going to function at 100% of its health capacity, whatever that may be for you in this moment in your life. So if you want to learn more on how to improve your overall health and well-being, please let us know. You can find us on our website at www.divinespine.net. Feel free to give us a call, schedule an appointment. We're here to serve you in any way that we possibly can. And have a wonderful day, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. I look forward to sharing next week's health tip with you all. Take care. Bye-bye.